Okay, number three, I think. Um, I'm just going to collapse enacting the lesson, debrief, and closure all together. In terms of enacting, I think things are going pretty good. Uh, it's just a wonderful part of the whole experience to be in the lessons. Um, both the observing has been highly professional and on spot, and the enacting of the lessons have been, um, you know, beyond better than we, I think, could have imagined. So that's going fine. I just have a question about student permission slips and checking in with our host teachers about those. I also have thought about putting signs up on our lab cycle classrooms, even in between cycles. So um, just a thought and idea to really identify what we're doing and make it more known in the building. Um, lastly, or next is a debrief. Um, just making sure that that process is clear and flowing for you guys for starting with the teachers, them getting to talk about what went well, what didn't, then the teacher observers sharing out on the specific goals, keeping that evidence piece clear. Um, then uh, going to the focus students, sharing out with student evidence so that the student evidence is there back up to the goals. And then um, asking the significance, kind of stepping out of the evidence-based and giving some time for people to say what we saw was significant because, and they might say because that, you know, helps all students talk or it helps me understand how to get students to talk so they can dialogue about that process and either during that time or after it's your call or our call as a group is you would scribe uh, on the t-chart the techniques and strategies that you saw um, during the time setting the teachers up then to do goal setting the goal setting can be done in paper or Schoology um, right there so that they know what they're trying to do and then before you leave set up the mid cycle planning my cat's meowing at me mid cycle planning what did they want to do to take it deeper and apply it to their classrooms um, keeping in mind that we're looking for change over time in those focus students when we do the uh, walkthroughs um, sidebar, I'm wondering about walkthroughs, not just for admin, but with other teachers um, as well, opening up our classrooms maybe for a period of two. Um, maybe I should hit that later. But um, the goal setting um, and the mid-cycle planning helps us implement um, to take the, kid, the students further and the teachers further in between the cycles. And then we'll meet together as a whole group for one big whip around again. And I think this will be have to be in the lab cycle, in the lab again the computer lab but we want to share out um, some of our takeaways and wonderings off of this period of time and really build the um, cohesion as a large group again coming back to our inquiry question so enacting student permission slips debrief make sure that process is clear for you starting with teachers moving to students then moving into the significance of what we've seen as a whole group dialogue and then charting the techniques and strategies for the debrief and then moving into goal setting also talking about what your group wants to do for the mid-cycle kind of planning. Then come back together as a whole group to share out um, what we learned about our inquiry question. All right. Thank